What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and finally we are doing some individual training guides. So we're going to be starting with Roberto Carlos. I actually did get Carlos and I'll show you my build towards the end of this video but I'll keep this short and sweet. We have three different versions of Carlos. Now remember on eFootballDB they have updated all the cards as you see here but we will be showing you um, a couple of things that they still need to fix as well. So they are working on a new design and a new layout of all the stats and obviously as well as that the booster implementation is still not in so these are just three different builds that we're going to show you and i will show you my build of carlos at the end as well but as i said this booster effect you just have to remember that every build i show you you're going to be adding two stats onto speed acceleration balance and stamina so it does feature into the builds you're going to be picking but we'll go through it roughly and show you my kind of thought process behind it because i definitely think carlos is He's an insane player, but you have to have a system to suit him. He doesn't fit all systems, and he doesn't fit all play styles. So bear that in mind when you do, if you do, decide to spin for him, right? So first up, we have got a DMF, um, or defensive left back. Now, I actually tried DMF Roberto Carlos. Yes, he can play DMF. He can play there um, on his main position, as you see there. Left back, left wing, or DMF. And I'm going to show you an attacking left back, a wing back, and then a defensive left back that you can cycle through, right? So this card is all about defense, right? So we're going to pop 16 into defending. We don't need to worry too much about speed, acceleration, balance, or stamina, because of course we are going to be getting plus two to all of those stats with his booster in effect. So you're going to essentially have speed 90, acceleration 92, and then balance and stamina are going to be 90 for balance and 88 stamina. And then you'll also get the boost in game for the stamina as well. And you're going to be getting a boost to all of those when this player form arrows up. It just doesn't visually show you that anymore, okay? But this is a defensive midfield version of Carlos, right? So he operates in a similar way that Davids operates in. He's super, super quick. He's super reliable there. We played with him a bit. I don't think it's his best position, but he's just such a unique option to have there with an unbelievable engine. And you have 91 aggression with 88 defensive engagement and 85 tackling, as well as 79 defensive awareness, which is incredible. Also, his lofted pass gets a tiny little tweak here as well. So it's not just a stopper type build. The biggest problem with this is that his playstyle offensive fullback is not going to be really utilized, right? So that brings us on to our second build, which is a wing back or an offensive left back. So this guy operates pretty much in line with a 352, right? I'll show you my build at the end as well. It's kind of a cross between these two, but I definitely think that this is one of the better ones, but you do need to put a little bit of work into it. If you use a target man and you've got Roberto Carlos, this is all about passing. So instead of defending, we're going to be literally just giving him a free roll up that left flank and hoping that his engine can still get him back. Now, you can put a bit of individual instructions on this card to have man marking on somebody's winger if you want to bring him back a little bit more defensive. But as I said, it's all about dribbling. It's all about giving that option out wide. You're essentially playing him as a winger that does not shoot and does not cut in. It's literally going to be an engine man. Think, you know, Pavel Nedved or that style of player on the left flank and then also have an 88 lofted pass as well as having long range shooting first time shot pinpoint crossing and low lofted pass it's an incredible assortment of player skills with these stats on top of that you're still going to get the boost with the booster of speed acceleration are going to go to 92 and balance and stamina are going to be at 90 it's an insane build it's an insane card dribbling lofted pass unbelievable you still have a bit of defense uh defend defending there as well so i definitely think that that is going to suit a lot of three five twos or even a four five one right if you're playing a four five one you can have a left back with a lot of defensive capabilities and then you can have carlos as kind of a second pivot there that's able to get up and down the pitch and do a lot of work up and down that area to be able to swing balls in i mean i cannot wait to put collar up front and have this build of carlos kind of swinging balls into him so that brings us on to our last build. Now, lads, as I said, the eFootball DB lads have, have assured me that they're working on a brand new design, brand new layout, brand new everything. Um, this is just the basic, basic cards that have been updated. So don't pay too much attention to the rating. The cards will be higher rated than this. And obviously, you also um, have the plus two to the boosters. That's not implemented in this yet, but they are working on it, right? So this is just kind of a rough guide of it. Let me know what you guys think of this Carlos card and we'll show you my build in a second right this third option here is basically an all-rounder right so we've maxed out his dexterity as best as we can his aerial strength gets a big boost and his defending gets a big boost the biggest thing with this card is that you're going to be using him as a very easy pick up and play player right Carlos is defensively just a little bit you know too chaotic I think that it's very hard to kind of 
keep him back. Like you have to put defensive on him. You have to put deep line on him if you're playing him as a left wing back. Um, so I do think that he mightn't suit everybody, but he's just such a brilliant card to have and just a bit of a wild card if you are looking to throw something on because of his engine. I mean, you're going to have all the main stats that you need in the 90 plus range and then you get the aggression there as well and as i said you can kind of tweak this as much as you want right the reason we've gone for aerial strength here is because there is an impetus on a lot of people now to cross balls in um from like a low position that go high so you need to be able to def defend carlos once his jump goes that at 90 mark he's able to leap like a fish out of water he's unbelievable at leaping because of his jump even though his jump is only 80 it's just kind of built in right so i'm going to show you my build here of carlos so that's the build i've actually gone with right if you've seen me play this is kind of the build that i've chosen now okay so you've got 92 speed 90 acceleration 96 kick and power 88 balance and 90 stamina as well as 84 lofted pass 80 dribbling 85 aggression and 85 curl right so for the free kicks or whatever i use carlos in a variety of ways he's going to be playing as a left wing back and attacking left wing back and this is what happens when you put the max booster on him here it's going to get up his stamina his acceleration and his speed all into the 90s zone he goes to a 97 overall and he is a demon lads he's still able to cross the ball in i'm going to use him in a very different way um with just lots of pinpoint crossing and i love the fact that he's got unwavering form b rating and yeah, I mean, I definitely think he's a beast. I know we won't suit everybody. He's not a pick up and play player, but if you can master his runs and master how he plays, he is a one man wrecking ball. So let me know what you think of Carlos. Let me know if you've spun for him. Let me know if you're going to skip and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.